Hey guys, Tom here with another how-to video. Today we're going to be looking at how to install Linux. So now there's a lot of different ways to install Linux and the method I'm going to show you is going to be assuming that you already have a computer that is running Windows and personally this is the easiest way that I've found to install Linux. Now there's also a lot of different types, a lot of different versions of Linux, different uh, distributions. Uh, the version that we're going to be installing is called Ubuntu and Ubuntu is a very very popular method or very very popular distribution of Linux uh, it's, it's, it's probably the easiest to get used to and uh, most uh, easier for the user uh, there's a lot of support online for it, a lot of individuals using it so um, this is a great version to get started with so as I said earlier I'm going to be assuming that you already have Windows installed and what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be setting up a dual boot environment. And what a dual boot environment means is that we're going to actually have two operating systems installed on this computer. Now does, that doesn't mean you can actually run both these operating systems at the same time. But what it means is when your computer boots up, it's going to give you the option to either boot into Windows or, a boot, or boot into Linux, which is going to be Ubuntu. So that's what a dual boot system means. Uh, so with that said, uh, I'm going to assume that you already have Windows installed and let's just go ahead and get started. So we're, what we're going to do is we're just going to open up a web browser and then we're going to be going to Google and now what we can go Google is uh, Wubi installer. Okay, now Wubi is actually a separate application um, that's used to install Ubuntu uh, for the Windows system and uh, this was actually an independently developed program but it's been become so popular and it's so um, well recognized for its simplicity and its usefulness that Ubuntu has actually adopted this program, this installer, as its own uh, official installer for Windows. So as we can see here, Windows installer for Ubuntu desktop, this is exactly what we want. It's from Ubuntu.com so we know that's a trusted uh, source so let's just go ahead and click that link It's going to open up the Ubuntu page. So here is the Ubuntu page. Uh, here's the big button that says get this and get the installer and that's what we're going to press. Um, these numbers here might be different depending on when you watch this video. So Ubuntu is constantly releasing uh, newer and newer versions. So this version uh, might be like a 13 dot something, 14 dot something. Uh, it's just going to be updating this in the future. But for right now, 12.10 is the uh, most recent release. That's what I'm going to go with. If for some reason you want a different release, you can choose that as well. Uh, but for now, let's just stick with the default option. So let's get the installer. This page here is just offering uh, you the option to donate money to Ubuntu. Uh, if you've got money to donate and you uh, really like the product, then uh, by all means go for it. But Ubuntu is completely free. You should never have to pay for Ubuntu. So the, we're just going to go ahead and uh, download this for now. So uh, just hit this link down at the bottom, and it's going to automatically start the download. I'm just going to ahead and save it, and we can go ahead and exit out of the web browser because we're done with that. And I'll go ahead and open the downloads folder. So that's already done. So I'll just clear this and close it. So now, as you could, as you saw, it's a very quick download because this is only 2.4 megabytes. This is not the full version of Ubuntu. This is only the installer. So the installer is actually going to go ahead and download the entire installation package. But let's just go ahead and run this installer. So I'm getting a security prompt, which you can't see, but I hit yes to the security prompt. All right, here we go. So here's the installer. So this is Wubi. So, we have some options here to choose from. You can leave these options just as they are. It's completely fine. So this installation drive is just where the, the hard drive that you're going to be installing it on. I only have one dr hard drive. There's only one option. I've got plenty of free space, so I'm just going to install it there. Installation size. You can choose how big of a, uh, how much space you want to uh, dedicate to Wubi. So what this is going to do is it's going to dedicate 18 gigabytes of uh, from my C drive to Ubuntu, and when you're inside of Ubuntu, you'll essentially be seeing an 18 gigabyte uh, primary drive for Ubuntu, and that's what this installation size is. If you want more space, by all means, go for it. If you want less, you can do less as well. Uh, 18 is fine for me. 
If you want to choose a different desktop environment, you can. There's some other ones on here, Kubuntu, Mythbuntu, etc. Uh, we're just going to be sticking with the standard Ubuntu for now. I think it's a great one to get started on. If you want to go back later on and try a different desktop environment, by all means, go for it. Uh, English is standard language for me, so we're going to stick with that. Uh, videos is a fine username. You have to create a password, so I'm just going to make one up now. All right, now with those options set, we are good to install. So we'll just hit the install button, and essentially that's all there is to it. So this is going to go ahead and uh, first is going to download the installation package. Uh, this might be quicker on uh, your internet if your internet is uh, quick, more faster than mine. Uh, this is going rather quick right now just because I have a cache download already. But um, essentially, this is going to go ahead and download the package and uh, install it for you. There's, there's pretty much nothing else you need to do, but I'll go ahead and pause this video for now and resume it at those later stages. That way you can kind of see uh, what's going on with those later stages. But So I'm going to go ahead and pause it now. All right, we're just finishing up the download here. Should be done in the next couple seconds. All right, so the next step is this extraction step. And now this download is, uh, it's not huge, it's not a huge download, but I mean, we're talking about maybe probably about half a gig or so, I think. So this might take a couple minutes here to extract. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video and resume it here in a minute. All right, so after that uh, expanding stage, we just had a couple last um, stages to go through, which it quickly went through, and uh, now we're essentially finished. So. Uh, that is um, all there is to it to installing uh, Ubuntu uh, on your computer so now you will have a fully uh, dual boot operating system so now the next step will be to restart your computer which you can do now or uh, do later now the first time you restart your computer it's actually going to go through some uh, last st uh, setup uh, procedures to fully um, set up Ubuntu for you so uh, when you restart your computer, you're not going to be given any options. Just just going to go straight into those um, final setup procedures. Uh, you might see some crazy text on your screen. Don't get uh, freaked out by that. Uh, th that text should go away uh, within a couple of minutes. Um, if your computer is sitting there for uh, a half hour or more, uh, the chances are you probably ran into a problem and probably should restart and uh, start fresh. But that's essentially um, how you uh, install Ubuntu on your computer. Uh, next I'll just show you here how to uninstall uh, Ubuntu once you have it set up. Okay, and if you want to uninstall uh, Linux, if you want to uninstall your version of Ubuntu, this is what you have to do. So we'll just go to our computer, go to the drive that you installed it on, and as you can see here is the default directory under the C drive here is Ubuntu and so what we do is open that up open up that directory and there will be a application here uninstall Wubi so we'll, we'll just run this application I'm getting a security prompt which I say yes to I said, do you, are you sure you want to uninstall now once you uninstall Wubi anything you stored on Ubuntu will be lost so it's gonna completely uh, wipe this folder so all of that uh, information is going to be gone. So we're just going to go ahead and uninstall. It's very quick. And as you can tell, the whole thing's gone. So what I love about this is uh, it quickly uninstalls uh, Linux for you and doesn't mess up your master boot record. So uh, you don't have to worry about uh, having to go in and repair that uh, boot record. But uh, that's that's all there is to it. That's uh, uninstall Wubi. So check out the other videos on my channel. And thanks for watching.